Uh, no, nah, not really. He just said we had curfew. We got, we got to come back and get better next tomorrow. Curfew? You mean you have to be in at a certain time? Yeah. Does that generally happen? Yeah. Not new. <clears throat> Were you expecting him to foul on that last play? Uh, it was a possibility. Uh, the coach said that they might do it. If they did, just try shooting. That way we get three, but um, yeah, we knew it was a possibility. Jeff, where does this one rank? Uh, this one hurts, definitely. Um, you know, it's just we don't really lose at home. The other time we did was against Texas, I think, two years ago. But, um, you know, we, we wanted to pull this one off the coach. I know he wants to win. Against Oklahoma State every time, just gives us his alma mater. But uh, this one hurts a lot. But uh, you know, it, we can spin it into a positive, just like we, we have in the past with losses. But um, you know, uh, we're gonna get a lot better from this loss. You know, we uh, we thought that we were a lot better than what we were. Obviously, you know, a loss like this is just gonna you know bring us back to reality, and we're gonna go get get to work in the gym and get better. Moving forward, or Kevin, what do you think is the biggest key <coughs> coming off this loss for you guys as far as moving forward? Is there one or two things you can point to that inside you feel like you really need to kind of focus on? Uh, we can focus on rebounding. Uh, we're going to rebound in the second half. Offense, they got way too many offensive rebounds. Um, our offense wasn't smooth uh, when they switched to 2-3. To they uh, got the best of us on that. And um, so there's so, so much that we can work on. And, you know, late game situations, we got to work on that. Uh, Drew hit a big shot for us, put us back in the ball game. But, um, you know, it, we just got to, uh, you know, get more mentally tough. And I think, uh, you know, this will definitely help. Jeff, you guys have found a way to win so many times this year. Did you feel like that was going to happen even after you got to back in the second half? And uh, I want to say we relaxed. Um, they made some big plays, um, but we, we also got them into foul trouble. But that two three just you know, hurt us so much. We we couldn't score for a certain amount of time, and they were getting a lot of offense rebounds. So you know they were scoring every time off that. But uh, I want to say we relaxed at all. Um, probably you know we're over. A little too overconfident for sure. Uh, once we started getting that lead back, and then they kind of just took it back under two minutes. Ben, how did you guys slow down Markel Brown in the second? Half? So yeah, how did you slow down Markel Brown in the second half? Um, basically, we tried to just trap him on ball screens and stuff like that, and we tried to slow him down because he, you know he was you know trying to go to the basket a lot in the first half, and in the second half, you know, coach told us you know. Just be more aggressive on on, on ball screen and stuff. So that's what we did. So we slowed him down a little bit. And you know, I mean, he's a great player. Um, so I'll give him credit for that. Then, what differences did you see from Oklahoma State's defense in the first half to the second half? Were you able to be a little more effective and get to the basket, get some light ups? Um, I mean, we, in the second half, we just told, um, told ourselves we need to just go out there and be more aggressive. You know, wherever they come on, throw at us. We know we got to. Um, Take that and just get, take that advantage and just you know go and just you know play camp and basketball. So that's what we're trying to do. So, Kevin, do you think a loss can be good for this team? Yeah, I think uh, we can learn from it. I mean, uh, like Coach says, we, we've been playing on borrowed time and we've been we've been cutting it close a lot. And I mean, it was bound to happen. But uh, now that it did, I mean, like Jeff said, we just got to spin it into a positive. And come out and get better tomorrow in practice. Guys, that last uh, possession ended in a turnover. What was the play that was called in the huddle? Were you, it looked like EJ was going to try to drive and just shoot a two. Were you guys going to try to shoot a three? What was the play that was called? Um, uh, I think Lash was about to drive it and pitch it back to Penn. And uh, at the same time, I think he was looking uh, for them to foul him. And they did it. And uh, Smart just shot the gap and started walk.
Kevin, what did you say to Elijah after the game? Uh, just keep his head up. I mean, this isn't a one-person loss. Um, it's, it's on the whole team. Throughout the whole game, we all, we all made some mistakes that we can change. Ben, did you feel like Marcus Smart kind of took over the game in the last five minutes? <coughs> um, I wouldn't say that. I think um, as a team, they uh, you know they started making big plays, and when they start making big plays, we were trying to um, you know you know convert that and just try to make plays ourselves. So I don't want to say he um, took over the game. I say they um, play, played as a team, you know, just making big plays. So. Yeah, so their offensive rebounding, the big killer, <coughs> the biggest thing that we can I think so, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it's just rotation rebounding. Um, you know, uh, that's all it was. Is we, when it when the game's on the line, all of us have to go get the, get the ball. And, um, you know, we just didn't have that sense of urgency. They definitely did. And, uh, you know, whenever a team does that, it, it's heartbreaking and, you know, it just spins the game completely around. And, you know, they got the best of us definitely on the offensive rebounds. Anything else? Thanks, Carl.